ladies so I've lined the top with the pearls as you can see and now I'm thinking remember here how I was showing you I wasn't happy with, with that and the reason why you can see a bit sticking out is if I cut it any more then you will see the orange exposed so I want to hide all these bits at the bottom and I've found this pink cord and that has fit in really snugly and it's doing a very good job of hiding it so I'm just going to do that all the way around so I'm going to do that with this one here and the reason why I'm if this was just for me I'll just leave it then it's pretty enough and I can put on my things in but I'm actually making this um, to give to give to someone so you know uh, w when you make something to give to someone you know it has to be a hundred percent so there you go and this is a beautiful trim I think I got this from Lingcraft a while ago back in the day when I did I think Ruth Burr's altered dominoes and I needed pink and green trim that's right so this is the leftover from that so anyway see how that is fitting into the gaps really nicely okay and so I'm just gonna keep doing that and I'll come Back, or should I keep filming? If so, it saves me doing all that editing lately, um, all that editing afterwards. So I might keep going with it. All right. And I know I said the inside doesn't matter because you're going to put something in it, but now knowing that it's going to someone. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to line it with something. Okay. one just had glue is falling into those little crevices right. almost fitting like a jigsaw and I'll bring that side over What I'll do is, it's getting a bit sticky. Oops, sorry, totally out of shot there. Just a bit too short there. Oh well. I wish I had it just a fraction longer. Maybe if I can stretch it over. 
it's perfect I've put it in the little kind of put, pushed it in there so that's how it looks like now it's a lot neater perfect right so now the only thing I'm concerned about is there's little brown lines in there. Maybe I could finish that off with this as well. I think I might do it with this since I've already started. But I'll do that later. Let's move on to something more fun, like decorating the outside. Okay. Um, I've got this. Stuff. I was thinking I'll just bring it down kind of wind it down now right. so what I was thinking was I've got uh, this so maybe that around there. No. Got some of this. What do you think of that? No, I do like it, but it's a bit too bright. I was thinking maybe I can try and shabby it up a bit with a paintbrush and see if that works. I can find a paintbrush, which I can't. So. I'm just concentrating on the cotton at the bottom really where it's really pink uh, and then the paper dots kind of trying to give it like a wash look so this and then I'll do the same with my fingers so you reckon that maybe looks better than that let's have a look yeah so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and come back hi ladies um, yeah so this is what I'm up to now I've put the pearls all the way around and I've lined it inside as well so it's nice and neat you can see the pearls in there the outside and I've got that gesso trim that I've put all the way around so the next step is um, well it needs a front and a back I think this will be the front and I was thinking of using this that I sell in my zippet store and maybe popping it on like that and then I've got these um, 
these here. I'm thinking I can pop these along. And these are just from my stash. These things. So yeah, just playing around. This are probably a bit too big. These fit nicely. So I think I might just do that. What I might do is clip that so it holds it. Like that. That's a good idea. So I've just clipped it on there so I don't have to stay there with the glue and I'll just bring this down a bit. Along. I'm going to put one there, one here, one here, okay. and I'll just leave them this side up so they can um not fall down because if I start doing the other sides that means I'd have to turn them over and I'd probably fall off. Hot glue would probably be better but it's just a nuisance starting it up. What you could actually do if you wanted to, well I've got enough I could, is um it's not thick enough. It doesn't open up enough to actually grab it, does it? Yeah, it does. Oh, fantastic. You can go along with your clips and... Here we go. That's a good idea. You have to open them right up. Okay. So that will then allow me to put these flowers on all the way around. So I'll get back to you Hi once ladies. I've done that. Uh, so this is what I've done. I've um, put the flowers all the way around and I've put these on and I'll leave them on for an hour so that the glue takes properly. So that's one of the two projects that I'm going to make with these two boxes of um, cat food that I started off with. So now I'm going to show you the other project which is an album or a journal cover. So I showed you earlier on how I cut those. So now the I'm going to use both of them for strength, so I'm going to turn it over this way and this one, I'll just zoom out a bit and this one is going to be turned over that way and I'm going to place them on top of each other like that so don't worry about trying to straighten it, kneading it out we can do that after it's all glued together so just 
go home and put my glue on that. One side of it you want to make sure that it's kind of lined up right at the top here. I'm going to line them up as best they can and also to one side here. Now I'm going to just press down. Maybe you want to wait till it grabs it a bit, till it's kind of stuck down before you start cutting in that. But I've got no patience for that. So I'm going to press on. Okay, so just looking, you can tell where it needs snipping so it can be even. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And I think I, yeah, so this is how it looks like when you've trimmed it. You could actually, if you're doing a junk journal, you could just leave it like that. You don't have to put pretty paper over it. If you're going to do like a proper mini album from a collection, of course you'd put your pretty paper over that. Um... It's very sturdy because we've got two layers of the biscuits, the cereal boxes or biscuits, cat biscuits. And um, I don't know, you can put some pretty paper on that if you wanted to, couldn't you? Um, even for a junk journal. This is uh, just a stack from Kmart that I've got, 12 by 12. I'm really liking that, it's the front page. Um, and I'm actually, because I want it, I won't be too fussed. See, I want it like that, I want a bit of the writing showing and flare with there because you're gonna have another one come over for the spine so I mean I, I know you still know how to decorate but I'm just showing you the way I'll do it so the way I do it is the way I've got it like that and then I've just folded it over now I'm just going to open it up, okay, so it's not very evenly done is it, hold on, but I've already done the creases so basically I'm just looking to even this out to the same width as the other one, the other fold, but at the end of the day, if you're not happy with them, you can just put a piece of paper over that as well, couldn't you? Which is probably what I'll do anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? And then you cut that one like that. Okay, and then this one here. Probably get folded, wouldn't it? It'll go like that, and then that one will come across. Maybe cut it a bit more closer. That. 
bit more. Like that. So I'm just going to get off the camera and stick that down and show you how it looks. So what I've done is I've just put this score tape, express it double sided tape, uh, put it there and there. Some ladies put it there too but if you're going to put it there it's, it's the same thing. So it's going to, just looking at the fold once again, I think that'll do. I'm just going to go along and make sure it's pressed down firmly. Um, oh, there's a name for that something the tape and I was going to say fermenting but that's not right okay furnishing <laughs> that's right furnishing the tape okay it helps it come off and stay on better if you kind of go over it. Okay, that one. And uh, I won't keep going on with that. Or maybe should I? <laughs> Might as well. But uh, yeah, see how fast and easy that is. And that is um, your journal cover or your mini album cover and then I'm just going to do the same with the back one and that doesn't matter here because um, we're going to get like a totally separate piece for the spine that is going to go all the way across there but um come to think about yeah I should have done that beforehand shouldn't I well, maybe we could run a bit of glue on there oh, here we go it's done the job it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because that's all gonna like I said um, and have another paper, piece of paper over it. Anyway, I want to get back to my little caddy, the second project. Can you believe we've made these two projects from the one, well, from the, from the biscuits, you know? The, right, so now we're going to take these off and hopefully this glue would have held it. Um, I wouldn't have bothered with the clips if I used hot glue, but Yes, I'm very happy with that. That is fantastic. I'm going to have a little gentle wiggle and yes, wow, that's how they've been done with hot glue. It's really good. Very gently go around, take them all off. Yeah. Yeah, wow, fantastic. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So that is what we've got. I'm very happy with that little caddy. I'm um, just wondering if I should put anything more to it. I think not. That's a cute little caddy. And I will like to um, include this, if Amanda doesn't mind, as um, the consolation prize. <laughs> the, the last prize, like, um, but only for Australians. I'm, I'm not going to pay the ridiculous postage for overseas. Um, 
it will probably cost me $14 to ship this overseas. So I would pay the $7 that it would cost in Australia for me to ship it. So if an international lady wins, maybe if um, Amanda wants to throw in the other $7 for the shipping or the contestant, I don't know, but I don't know. So um, I don't know <laughs> what to do really. I don't even know if she wants it. Um, or you can just keep it for yourself, Amanda, you know. Um, I, I really like it too, but um, I just don't really have the room for it. I suppose I could keep it, but, you know. As as Sonia taught me, you know, it's 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 much better to, to, to give the things you make instead of keeping them all you know it's nice to show them around a bit like all right okay so just thinking what to do with this this was what I dyed the other day I would love to incorporate this I think what I will do is I don't bore you to death I will go on and do the f the back cover um, and the side uh, I think you all know how it's done. The, the back is just basically done the same way. And then with with the spine, it's basically done the same way too, isn't it? Um, so once I've done that, I will come back and I will start embellishing it. Thank you. Hi, ladies. Kind of lied. I figure, well, not everyone knows how to do the spine, so I'll show you the spine. Might as well. And so I've done the back with this one, exactly as I did the front page. And now I will show you with the spine. I've, I've picked this paper. And so I'm going to just eyeball it how far in I want it to be. Not too far in about that much. And then I'm going to hold that firmly and fold it like that. And then there's your, your fold there. Right. You can see the fold there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure it's, it's even. This is just a tad. around and roughly actually oh you have to bring that over a bit too yeah it has to go over so you can fold that like you did with the others like that so fold that over and then with the one down here we're gonna do the same So your next step is, uh, what I would do anyway, is I would measure roughly, you can eyeball it or measure it, it's about uh, an, an inch and a half from the spine to there. So I'm going to do the same for this part, an inch and a half and I will just mark it. And now I will get the cutter.
that was our fold. Remember in the beginning, did that fold. And we're going to come back here and do. Oopsie daisy. See how I'm holding it like like that. Like that. And if you can see the back here, that looks wider than here. But that's all right. I can just eyeball it by how much it needs another little snip. So then I will come back. Everyone's got their own ways of covering, you know, their their um, albums. So. Notice how messy my table is. Yeah, sometimes I give it a quick little clean if I'm good, but you know when you just get right into something, mess is good. It's healthy. That's right, Dennis, me and you, we are ADD and not OCD. <laughs> yeah, so, sorry if I didn't send you a reply yet. I will. I read it, I remember reading it. Alright, so there we go. Um, now I can already tell these are slightly too long, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it. But just in case I'm not going to cover it, I will kind of make it the same size. Oopsie daisy, I hope this is seen. Yep. Yep. Um, see see the way I do everything? I, I'm very um I don't see anyone doing it this way. I think I would be mortified to see the way I'm doing it, but it's a lot easier, you know, than having everything all lovely and pre measured and cut. This is a lot less time consuming doing it this way. For me anyway. Alright, so hopefully that will create a perfect fold. Let's go back to so this is the fold line. Here and here. Okay. All right. So the score tape would. We'll go from the obvious places where, where the score line is here, all the way down here, and just stop it there. Okay, and then the other one will go. Put a couple on the spine, maybe about three, one on the side, one in the middle, and one on the other side. Okay, give it a quick finish. Okay, or 
also then we will put some on these sides. I'll just need that up a bit. see where I've put it there and there there and there and so when you go back let's start with taking the lines off the spine first I'm going to try doing it by a technique that I saw this lady where she just don't remember. Instead of taking the whole lot off, what she does is she does it bit by bit, like she, she she'll take it off to about a third of the way or halfway, All right? And then she will find her centre. And the reason why she does that is so here she can rest it, right? And kind of figure out where to place it, which is pretty smart. And I'm just going to turn that over. And that way if she stuffs up she doesn't have a whole lot of um, sticking to do. So that's about right to me. That's kind of three quarters of the way down so that seems good. And then what she does is she gets... Oh shit. Oh no, didn't plan it too good, did I? Okay, so these can all come off. And then we can just go back down like that. Beautiful. Alright, so we got the spine on there. So the next thing to worry about is this part. I will go ahead and put another one along here. I didn't put one here, so I'll go along and put it along there. Do the same to the other side. Now the next bit would be folding that over here, but I notice if I do that, hi ladies, I am so spewing. Um, last time I just done this page, and I thought I was filming myself doing the rest and the tutorial for this, but. I can't find it, so I will just show you what I've done. So with the 
last part I covered that there and then I covered this here and then I just went on to talk about how I just found the same kind of colours that are on this paper, the greens, the pinks, um, this type of colour. Um, I put that lace that I dyed and then I put some other lace that I dyed and then some stickers on that. And these are all the pretty flowers from the Wild Orchid Craft store that I sell in, in my Sibbert store. This is that seam binding that I dyed as well and I sell that in my store as well in a pack. Uh, you get this colour, two yards of that, two yards of the, the beigey one and the greeny one. So all up you get six of these in the in a pack um, for five dollars. Six yards in a pack. Yeah, nicely packaged. Um, yes, and then I just put a mister on it. It's got that like spritz look to it. Yeah. And then I'll put that on the side. So one day this I will put some stuff in it. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Oh, and pretty sure you have seen that. This is the caddy. So look what you can do from um from two two biscuit thingies like this. You can make these gorgeous projects. I'm just like really, really happy with the way they turned out. Really pretty. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.